Well, Jeff, thanks. And as Jeff just mentioned, the tidal flooding wasn't significant for most of Hampton Roads, but it did cause a lot of problems on the Outer Banks today. So on your side, Tamara Scott joins us live now. And Tamara, parts of the Outer Banks dealt with some pretty bad overwash. Yeah, that's right. NCDOT workers have been out working really hard these past few days as they try to keep drivers safe as NC12 began to wash over. Now, low tide has already passed for the day, but take a look at these pictures and video of what NC12 and parts of the Outer Banks looked like earlier. During high tide, the ocean water is rushing over the dunes, creating what almost looks like a lake on the road. Now, Tim Haas with NCDOT says part of the road between Rodanthe and Bass Knight Bridge are now open after previously being closed today, but they anticipate it may close once again. They reach high tide again later this evening. They also encourage people to turn around from standing flood water. But once it goes down, there are some things to keep in mind. If they're going down or they're coming back to Hatteras Island, is um, there will be there will be some water and some sand on the roadway. So we're telling people to drive with extreme caution and to keep in mind that that water on the roadway is salt water. So the least amount of wave you can make as you go through it, the better it'll be for your car. Now, Tim says their crews will still be out there as long as this continues to be an issue. Stay with Wavy on air and online with any updates. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.